it's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Mass Effect 2. Last episode we did the Project Firewalker DLC and then we spoke with Liara in our cabin and we hugged and it was super nice. It was a really nice moment. Um, and now today we are going to do some N7 missions and then we are going to do our last loyalty mission which is Grant's loyalty mission. So I'm very excited about that to go back to Tuchanka and buy more upgrades with my credits that I will have from the N7 missions. I hope, I hope. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for today. So let's jump into it. Let's go. Okay, I remember that I have some messages that I haven't read. So let's see about that. Update on the kid from Captain Bailey. Okay, so um, Colliat, Tane's son. Hey Shepard, just wanted to let you know that the drills. Uh, drill kids doing okay everything's taken care of legally and he's doing some work for me helping me deal with some trash in the wards maybe make life better for some of the kids like mouse not perfect but then what is don't know if your drill and mine are talking i told him life was too short not to but i don't know if it took it if it took good luck out there that's nice Project Firewalker, good work on recovering the hammerhead in one piece, Commander. It will prove useful. Also, the data you recovered from the MSV Rosalie's emergency beacon contained significant intel on a few planets that Dr. Case and Dr. Oloy investigated. ED has added the locations to your galaxy map. Okay, that was before. We hope that one of them leads you to the Protean site. Despite Dr. Case's, Casey's obvious instability, he's proven to be a brilliant and dedicated scientist. If you salvage more of his logs or journals, it would greatly help our efforts. We still don't know how to get our tracking, Dr. Casey, so be careful. The artifacts you gathered might give us a lead on a larger Putian site. They have a credible value for historians and might be instrumental in building our understanding of the Protean legacy. Excellent work in mitigating the get presence, Commander. Thank you. We will keep you apprised of further get activity should it threaten mission integrity. I should have read those before doing the missions right after the other. Oops. Commander, a very capable team is analyzing the data you gathered from the get's research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up new avenues for terraforming procedures for future colonies. The tech used in the beacons also contains communication innovations that should help us develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. Wow, okay. There's no evidence of protein activity on this planet. That was a close one on Kerumto Shepard. A disturbing fact has come to light in analyzing the channel you used to transmit your findings. Unauthorized transmissions have been sent from the MSV Rosalie Rosalie <laughs> to an unknown destination. It's assumed that it is how they get our tracking doctors Casey and Oloy. The data you retrieve gives us a definite location for Dr. Casey's Protean site. Doctor was certain that the site held a Protean revelation of enormous significance. That's what I'm I'm wondering about the relic. I hope it's the historic discovery that we were about to read. It is recommended you head there as soon as possible to counter any get retrieval missions already in play. The burst of energy that coincided, coincided, coincided with your retrieval of the Putian artifact contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threads we were able to decrypt have provided new avenues for research on energy transfer and biotics. It will keep the scientists busy for years to come. The data indicates that the artifact is currently inert and not dangerous. We wonder, however, that if Dr. Casey had more time, he would have unlocked his secrets. We will continue his research and landmark, landmark find for humanity, Google Shepherd. Okay, we don't know much more. All right. That's too bad. I should probably feed the fish. Although I haven't done any big missions, I think. Um, I guess um, it's too late. Well, we still have our hamster. Squee! <laughs> Squee. 
Um, I'm sorry. I am really not good to take care of fish that need food after every mission. That's insane. Let's continue. <laughs> N7. Let's do some N7 missions. Uh, we need to go to the mass relay. Right here. And take some fuel, maybe, since we're here. All right. Destroy block pack base. That could be fun. I mean, why not? We can do that. Oh, it's here actually. Oops. Oh, it's there. Oops. Zadaban. Scans show a crew base established on the planet's surface. Communications match known blood pack mercenary protocols. Numerous life signs matching. Vorcha genealogy detected. The base's material resources match our data on weapon manufacturing components. Okay, so uh, Krogans and Vorcha. Enemies. So we're gonna take. Um. I'm thinking Zaid and Miranda, maybe, since it's been a while. I have only two points, but I think Zaid, yeah, has four. That's really good. Um, let's put a two here. And then you have... I'll put the Viper. Yeah, all the rest, maybe Firestorm. There we go. Beautiful. I am detecting a large power source inside the base. It is probable that destroying it would disrupt the entire facility. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Let's see if there's something behind here. No? Alright. Oh, I want to see Miranda's mask. Really cool. Kalos, can you get your resources when they're good and ready? You want to come mine these rocks yourself? Everything will be ready for the attack. If you got me the additional Vorcha I asked for, it would have been done by now. Son of moon. Who's where? All right. Squad Disruptor, Inferno, or Concusive Shot. I'm gonna put Concusive Shot, but we're gonna put Squad Disruptor, I think. Through shields and shred synthetic targets. Synthetic? I mean, why not? Give it to me. Thank you. Um, this is a heavy warp. All right. We have Energy Drain that I want to try to... Okay, the music. Kalos, I'm sending back two of the Vorcha you sent me so that you can see what I'm dealing with out here. I suggest you not harm arm these morons. <laughs> these piss poor shots are more likely to blast the broad side of one of your generators than hit their intended targets. Maybe once you understand I'm dealing with, you won't be so quick to mock me when I ask for goddamn assistance. <laughs> All right. I see an enemy there. Enemies in front. Hmm. Enemy down. Is it dead? Yeah. Okay. Where do you shot me from? Oh, there. All right. Wait a minute. Sorry, concussive shot. Sorry. Oh 
Damn, one shot kill, that's crazy. Oh! I mean, when you're that close. With you. On my way. Kale, some of my porch have gone missing. I need more of if you expect us to get this work done on schedule. Don't care how you get them as Garm for his extras. Yes, to have some cast stuff that were good enough. We killed Garm, no? When we went to recruit Archangel. Pretty sure. It was a Krogan. Jesus. We are going guns a blazing. Firing an impact shot. Melt that one. Hell of a shot. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> there we go. That was an inferno uh, grenade, I think, from Zaid. Pretty sure, yeah. That was cool. All right. Vorchos are really squishy. Surprisingly. <laughs> Closer look, closer look of uh, where, what? <laughs> Wait a damn minute. I think I'm supposed to break this. Evacuate. Come on, oh. we need to leave. Let's go. Here we go. With you. <laughs> I was stressed of dying. We can use this. <laughs> we can use what? Heavy weapon upgrade? Plus 90% of- wow. Yeah, we can use this certainly. What the hell? Those glitches are so funny though. <laughs> yeah, let's- let's go. Let's use that. <laughs> That's so good. Hell yeah. No messages for you. Commander. I don't doubt it. <laughs> All right, and we have platinum rich planet that we can do. But I don't really need platinum. You know, 
Like, I have so many resources. Is... Is that it? Like, it's just a scanning? A good... Are you kidding me? That... Huh? Wait, that's so strange. That's the mission? Like... Like, what? It's not even platinum rich. Oh yeah, I guess it is. But like... That's the mission? Do I have to deplete it? Huh? I'm... I... It's not even in the... Okay. I guess it's just... Informative? I thought it was a mission, but no. It's just platinum rich, but it's not that rich in platinum either. Like, what? I don't understand. Anyways, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> we can lose my time. Okay. Ooh, we made a lot of money though. Ooh. That's good. Um. Uh, blood pack relay. Shipwreck. Disable false signal stop missile attack. Stop missile attack could be interesting. Let's see. Mm. This one. Scans detect an alliance colony defended by Javelin MK2 missile base. A distress signal indicates that the base is compromised by Batarians who have launched two missiles at the Alliance colony. Total destruction of colony is imminent. Zero probability of survivors if missiles strike. Find a control panel in Javelin base. Time of impact calculated. Ending party will have five minutes to activate. Okay. It's time sensitive, guys. We need, um... We need a good team against Batarians. So I'm thinking, maybe Grunt and Miranda again, maybe? Does Grunt have a lot of points? Not really. I guess we could use Slam, two points. Because we're level 28. That's crazy, isn't it? Max level 30 in Mass Effect 2? Like in Mass Effect 1? So we only have like two other points, I guess, that we're gonna get. Un unless we get more points per level at the end. But um, that's crazy. <gasps> Damn. Damn. That's a female Batarian! Did you see that ass? For sure, for sure. We never see female Tyrians, Krogans, Batarians. I know they exist, but... I'm sorry. We cut them. Oh my lord! Okay, the thing is, I don't actually want that. Thank you. There we motherfucking go. Okay, who's where and what do we get? Conclusive shot. Okay, alright. Wait, what? Other side. Yeah! Bypass. The stress that we're in right now. The stress that we're in right now. Oh, good lord. Certainly an ambush, yeah? Jesus. 
Very nice. Can I vault over that? No. But I don't have that much time, you know? I can't spend too much time here. But there's stuff here though. Yeah. Credits. Okay. Okay, 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 let's go. Oh my god. Right behind you. Yeah. Here. There we go. That's it. That was just you. All right. This one and this one. Easy. Easy. There is only one remaining kill switch code. Oh. Therefore, only one missile can be stopped. Use the kill switch code to save your selected target. So one target, spaceport industrial district, apply kill switch to protect alliance interests in tactical viability. Abate at the cost of hundreds of lives in a city or residential district. Apply kill switch here to save the city and hundreds of lives. With its industrial area destroyed, however, the colony will no longer be viable. It will have to evacuate. I mean, it's better that than, than being dead. That did it. Come on. So we saved the city, right? I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Protect the colonies with residential core. Thousands of lives saved. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I mean... I'm not a renegade, 100% renegade, you know? I'm not. I'm not an alliance super soldier or something. I mean, I kind of am, but we'll have a message about that for sure. Someday. Okay. We have some time still. Disable false signal. Let's go see that. Here on the chorus. On Sanctum, distress beacon detected on initial sweep is confirmed to be fabrication set in place to lure unsuspecting ships into orbit for pirate ambush. Preliminary scan indicate that shutting down false distress beacon will stop the Blue Sun's transmission and disable their ambush site. Surface scans show Blue Sun's communication signatures concentrated around the shuttle hangar bay. Yeah. Pirates. I swear. Blue Sun's. Let's take Garrison Thane, I think. Two snipers will be interesting. 
Hell yeah. I think... Mm, grenade launcher? It's been a while. I never use, but... Ooh, looks good. Wow. Hello, sir. Uh-huh. You better run, dude. Who's where? Increases damage to health of organic targets. Okay, that's a... Uh, shredder ammo, yeah, for sure. We'll map this. Yeah. Ambush. They've seen us. Wait, did he? Oh, it's not for the whole squad. Fuck. Why? I want my locust, dude. <clears throat> Let me uh, change. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Shit. Ah, they're too close. They're too close now. Oh, these. And stay down. I'm so sorry. I thought you were an enemy. I'm so sorry, Garrus. Oh my goodness. I thought you were a Turian enemy of the Blue Suns. I'm so sorry. The shuttle just landed outside the southern entrance. Get out there and take them out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Due to concerns over employee safety, the Broadfield Mining Facility has been closed until further notice. nice my dudes both with their sniper rifles out amazing amazing work all right let's go this way first where they sleep, hey? I guess slept. <laughs> hey cousin, that jerk Selim just fired me for no reason. I swear the guy has it out for me. I hear the Blue Suns are hiring people to take out some dumbass vigilante on Omega. I'm gonna go show them how it's done. Wish me luck. Dumbass being Archangel, eh? I am sorry, but um... It did not go well for you. Dumbass vigilante. You, you heard that, Garrus? Did you hear that? <laughs> uh. 
they had no chance. Due to Phillips' brilliant expansion of the northern mining tunnels into the mess hall last week, our small facility will be closing indefinitely. All teams will be transferred to the nearest Ooh. base shortly. Look out! Oh. My pleasure. Amazing. This is fun. I like this mission. It is a little bit more uh, action y, you know? I don't know. Just go here. Got a major first. haul coming in from that dig site, boys. Move all the unsorted cargo to the mines to make room. Uh huh. It is not going well for them. Whoever you are, you won't make it out of here alive. Captain Narom, a big mech. Two big mechs. That is no worries at all. We've been spotted. Do this, this. We will. No shield. I. What the hell? Okay. I'm. What the hell is going on? Okay, I can't switch weapon while being undercover. I think like she automatically automatically goes up. Which is kind of bad, I would say. Oh, no, she does. Okay, then I don't know why she did not before. Okay, we're actually really keeping uh, undercover. That's amazing. What the hell? Easy. Wow. Mm. Oh. to see if there's anything yes there is very nice and then on the other side here that's where I came from right yeah Very nice. Okay, so there's this place. What the hell? Client agent incoming. An agent from the prospective client arrived today. The client has asked for discretion which raised a few red flags. On Commander Santiago's suggestion, I plan to persuade the agent to develop Divulge the nature and location of the cargo. Well, that didn't take long. The client's agent folded under minimum pressure. Commander Santiago's hunch was correct. The client hopes to hire us to move a protean artifact from the dig site. With a little more pressure, the agent should gladly give up the location of the dig site itself. Is it this the what I did with um, 
with Project Firewalker. Like the same... It took some persuasion, but the agent gave up the location of the dig site. I'm dispatching ships and men to the location now. Santiago ought to be pleased. The Protean artifact is worth much more than we'd ever get for transporting it. Is it another artifact or is it the one that we got from Project Firewalker? But it was like husks and yet and... It was not mercs. Hmm. Interesting how a lot of N7 missions seems to be interconnected together. I don't know, I like that. We done did it. Move out. I'm so pretty. Look at that. Woo! Oh hell that yeah. Should do it. Oh hell yeah, Garrus. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if we got another N7 with that. No? Okay. Never mind. Next. Let's go back to the mass relay. And then maybe a ship wreckage or something like that that we could do. Getting them credits. But not, not that many, you know. It's hard. Hmm. Shipwreck. Let's do the shipwreck for now. Make a something a little bit different, and then we can do the rest of the mercs uh, and dispatch them. Surface scans indicate wreckage of a merchant, freighter configuration unknown, damage to ship catastrophic, detecting movement but no signs of organic life. So, get, maybe, or husks? I'm gonna take Tally and Kasumi just in case. My little Tex. Yeah, we're all the same. Three, three texts. Three texts. <laughs> but Kasumi is more like sneaky, stealthy, infiltrator with a, a like an invincibility cloak, shadow cloak. A sandstorm is approaching from the northwest. Proceed with caution. And then Tally is really like me, but even a better engineer than me. Alrighty then. Engineering status compromise. Catastrophic damage to primary and secondary cores. Element zero exposure levels critical. Fuel leaks throughout the engineering deck. Navigation critical. Manual control of navigation impossible. VI control locked out by executive command. Crot. Sensors compromised. Short range sensors offline. Unsafe planetary proximity detected at seven. AM, I guess. Uh, life support compromise, returning to safe levels. VI controlled out executive command by Krat. Shields holding at 100% integrity, normal. No shield breaches detected. VI network, network compromise, combating potential contagion. VI control of critical systems locked out by executive command. And communication compromise, damage to communications and array critical, activating distress beacon. All right. I can see a lot of things are critical. Yeah, that's that looks amazing, by the way. That's insane. Literally crazy. Captain, short range sensors just went offline and I'm locked out of helm control. The VI is reporting malfunctions all over the ship. Is 
there something I haven't seen here? I thought maybe... No. Attention all hands. We are on a collision course and losing systems fast. Report to the escape pods immediately. This is not a drill. Damn, that sound. Sound. Reflective mech armor. 14 crates of reflective mech armor. Loki mechs and Emir. So that's what is probably going to attack us, maybe mechs. Or nothing at all. So that's what happened. Multiple hostiles powering up at your location. Recommend immediate extraction. Wait. Where? Oh, there we go. are dead so squishy too many gel holy shit sure thing on it was really cool yeah we found no survivors so the mechs just started self-destructing in the ship and then it brought it down commander you received a new message at your private terminal i guess 
from ED. Information acquired, location coordinates, jurisdiction, trouble system, Eagle Nebula. Data mining confirms the last reported location of Merchant Freighter MSV Corsica at, as the jurisdiction in a trouble system. Possibility exists that clues pertaining to the anomaly are caused the mass malfunction of the max above Corsica can be found there. Oh, interesting. So it continues, kind of. Wait. Oh, investigate abandoned station. And after that, I think we're gonna go do um, grunts mission. Jerry Station. Data mining. Data mining confirms that last reported location. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Let's see about that. Interesting. I'll bring Tally and Miranda. Oh, we're way too late. Welcome. <laughs> we look so cool. I cannot deal. Escape the station. Dr. Galwin, on my suggestion, we have cut power to all systems, save critical life support, in hopes that disabling these systems will deny the VI the resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot. Last this out on our own. What? The VI went cray? Ooh, the music is so eerie. Docking area power restored. Yeah. Intruders are requested to report to the cargo doors for immediate removal from station. Intruder detected. Mm -hmm. You are not authorized to be in this area. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do about it, girl? My firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of an infection. Its current omissidal behavior is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe that the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our equipment may be to be infected by a virus. If we continue to try to shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only recourse is to just do nothing and convince her that we're not a threat. That did not work out, eh? Let me go here first. Good lord. Research area power restored. Locked down according to protocol M29 2. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Oh. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Oh. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Oops. I was okay. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. I'm sorry. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Okay. So I need to do these things before anyways. 
This is a really nice station, by the way. Teacher all docks personnel, we are expecting a shipment of mech parts from Hanikadar facility. Make sure that the eye knows to accept a docking request. That's what happened. She said, nah, you're not coming here. And broke it down by activating the mech self-destruct. Never trust the VI. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Free and clear. Living area power restored. The living area doors have been closed to quarantine a threat to this station. Advise intruders to engage self-destruct. One door enabled. One door enabled. Three doors enabled. Three doors enabled. Three doors enabled. All doors disabled. Three doors enabled. One door enabled. Two doors enabled. Five doors enabled. Easy. You won't need that anymore, eh? Right? Did he? How did they die? Do they kill themselves or... Like, what killed them? Because it seems to be headshots for everybody, but like a VI can't possibly do that, right? She used mechs or... I don't understand. There are all intruders intentionally violating quarantine are requested to exit the station immediately. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're not liking me too much, eh? Plasma venting in progress. Attempting to reach the maintenance oh, controls will most likely result in serious injury or death. All right. Kennings, I'm positive the trouble with our VI started after the Corsica docked with us. Sassan is looking into the VI itself. In the meantime, I need you to go through the logs and find out everything that was on the ship. Oh. Just a second. You're right there. Got it. Come on. Come on, girls. With you. Got it. Oh, oh, she's there. Okay. It's all good. All attempts to decontaminate station have failed. Require more power to escalate defenses. Affirmative. Right. Got it. Uh. Maintenance area power restored. We good? Okay. That is a lot of fun. I really like this mission. Ooh. I like looking at space just like this, you know, behind. A window, beautiful sky, you know, like that's nice. That's nice. If I'm floating though, no, that that's a big no. <laughs> that's a big no. Or if I see like planets from up close, no, 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 no. Hell no. Hub area power restored. Central mainframe access granted. Docked vessel detected. Attempting to upload central programming into docked vessel's mainframe. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. This is a secure zone. Please leave this station immediately. I regret to inform you that all attempts to defend the station have failed. Shutting down security protocols. I thought it would be a bit more uh, intense than that, but she didn't even put up a fight. Well, I guess she did with all the previous stuff, but uh What the hell happened though? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. 
Source of VI virus detected. Planet information in Capic Ahaskin system. Data from the quarantine VI at Jara Station indicates that a possible source of VI virus outbreak is a Hani Kedar facility on the planet Capic. Coordinates have been downloaded. Ah, oh, shit! I want to do that! Long episode today, guys, I think. <laughs> Where is it? Fuel reserves at 50%. Oh, yeah. We should buy. This is a fun couple of series of missions, you know, that they flow together. It's really nice. Alright. Infected production line. And that's a new system that I haven't seen, I think. Titan Nebula or something? There's only one. Okay. Anomaly detected. Of course. The experimental mechanics facility is under quarantine. For your safety, do not dock with or land in the vicinity of the facility without the proper protocols and authorization. I have found something. Surface scans detect mech production facility matching the res registration parameters of Hanikedar Corporation. Facility reports emergency lockdown at this location. Personnel scans report no living beings detected. Hazard scans show a large number of virus infected mechs quarantined within the facility. The activation of the primary production line controls should disrupt the creation of additional infected mechs. Ah, so actually the VI was right. Oh, the VI was right because she detected that the mechs incoming were... were a threat, maybe? Like they had a virus? Maybe they didn't and she was just afraid of all the mechs coming in. Um, interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking we need overload. Um, garrison tally, but I'm gonna take my cane. Not, not to walk, but to kill. I think. The grenade launcher is pretty good too, though. I gotta say. Against big uh, Emir Max. And then we'll do Grunt, okay? <laughs> These are interesting, though. Alright, let's go. There is no living organic life, right? Jesus, what the hell? What just happened? <laughs> Attention, uh, something recall notice. Our new circuit board supplier has issued an immediate recall on the MX whatever obedience processor which has been found to cause systemic breakdown of associated components. We have begun to search for a new supplier. In the meantime, discontinue use of, of that thing. Okay. Gianna, just FYI, we lost contact with the MSV Corsica. After you expressed concern, I checked the logs and indeed the mechs and parts they picked up contain the recalled OPUs. We know the Corsica has headed for a Jarrah station in this travel system, but we can't seem to contact them. I hope they're all okay, but I think we've done all we can do at this point. Tress. Dr. Talarasan. I'm getting reports of mechs coming off a production line. 
and assaulting workers. Some of them seem to be self-destructing at random. Even units not initially installed with the faulty OPU are showing signs of viral infection. We're looking at a potential facility-wide catastrophe here. We're containing this as best as we can, but we can't keep this from uh, can't keep this suppressed much longer. When Dr. Rochelle <laughs> learns about this, heads will roll. Mine will not be one of them. Chief Saunders Security. That tells me something, Chief Saunders. Dr. Rochelle has ordered a complete lockdown. We are hereby ordered to seal the production line access corridor from the rest of the facility. I realize that doing this will seal me and any workers who remain inside with a malfunctioning machine mechs. Um, this does not affect your orders. It has been an honor to work with you. Wow. Okay. Unsung heroes in this game. You think anyone's still here? It said there was no sign of life. Chief, I've located the Asari Dr. Talarasan in the production line access corridor with set of barricade and disable access the rest of the corridor because they're gamble. I secured Dr. Talarasan and I'm heading into the warehouse to access the production line control room. How did you want to sign in? I'm in the warehouse. It seems pretty empty, sir. I can see the control room just above the storage area. I might need a few minutes, but I'm pretty sure I can get the main production line shut down. Goddamn. We've been spotted. No. Nice. Oh. to shut this down. Okay. Hostile forces have a off. Critical system damage. 
It breaks their arms and everything. It's so cool. Depending where you shoot, I guess. Ah, oh, shit. Boshed it! <laughs> you boshed it! I love that insult. I don't even know what it means, but it's so good. I'm guessing it's like you asshole or a piece of shit or something. Come on! Understood. Can do. Didn't mean to to cover over there. We would have like big mechs, but no. Just small ones. Would have been cool to have a bit of a boss fight, you know? They were like crawling and everything. Oh, Jesus, we should get out. Yeah. There we go. for you commander okay let's go see grunt now is the time guys oh my god it's been an hour <laughs> all right <laughs> now or never grunt loyalty mission our last So Grunt is currently having like some kind of anger and he's wondering if he's sick so we're gonna go see Grunt, um, Rex. Um, I think I should bring Garrus this time. You know? Maybe he'll talk to Rex, but I don't think so. I'm excited! Hi, we're back. You're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. Blood pack. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short Yeah, leash. I know. Get him the right soon or put him down. They're right? You know what's wrong with him. What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Okay. Take your business to the clan leader. No, and keep your Just running. let me buy. I'm... All right. That's interesting. They're right. I wonder what those Turians and Solarians there's a Turian just here. Don't kill him though. Unheard not has increased in strength after the destruction of Clan Warlock. I can imagine. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt. Should I ask the female clan for Grunt's problem? Why bother with all the politics? Should I pet you again? <laughs> Feed. Here, try this. I had I had something to give. <laughs> Looks like Gers finally found someone to follow around. I have a pet baron now. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. Nice. It was a lot of fun. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything I should go. Suit yourself. 
Oh yeah, these I didn't want. Are you following me for real? Huh? Let me go buy some stuff first. Give me a reason. Can we talk to him again? What do you need? I guess not. Talk to you later. I think we've talked before. Step back. My is it really gonna follow me? Is it gonna One go back to the Don't touch anything. To the Normandy? <laughs> Jesus. Should you be in here? Okay, shotgun damage or biotic damage? That's really good. This might be useful. Yeah, it's really super fucking good, that's the thing. Now I have no money. I thought I had more things to buy, but um, I guess not. Okay. I have nothing to say to aliens or their pet Krogan, Shepard. What can I do for you, my friend? I have a Krogan on my crew. He mm -hmm. has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiager. You recite warlords. But you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. <laughs> Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. That's what I thought. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. <laughs> How could he be alive? I love that. I fucking love that because you guys know when i did that mission i was like can we not bring him back i'd rather have him dead i didn't like okir so it's so cool that like rex actually validates that <laughs> you know i need grunt back up to speed what's wrong with him there's nothing wrong with him he's becoming a full adult adolescence can't we just take him to omega and buy him a few dances <laughs> i don't care what aliens call it Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is <laughs> not Krogan. <laughs> the Baron! So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? Garrus! What does the rite of passage rite of require? Passage. Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are no not less. respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? Boy. His call. This is his choice. in my blood it is what i am for i love his voice boy. speak with the shaman he's over on the second level give him a good show and he'll set you on the path i can't believe gareth said that too, so funny. Shepherd. how many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew hmm? I 
I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Hunt well, Shepard. All right then. Should I give you a name? What was the name? He said something earlier. He said Feth. What was it? Seeing those vermin roasting the heat from an explosive. I didn't do that for mine. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want. I, I think he said a name, but I I forgot. Do I have it in, in, in my squad? <laughs> Fuck. Probably five years from the right. Right of passage. I remember the shaman is upstairs here. Hell yeah. Uh, does he have anything new? What can Clan Knock more do for you? I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. What? You go beyond yourself, Gatatagu Vank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. Okay. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. He dares stand in Grunt's way. I love that. I don't care what this idiot says. Grunt has the right to be here. There's some fire. And from an alien. <laughs> oh, the shame the seeps on those who whine like pups. <laughs> If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? I was a candidate tested if he brings back up on his rite of passage. Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior. But each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. I see. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. We'll kill for Grunt. will strengthen Clan Erdnot. Name our target and it will die. Yep. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Oh, hell yeah. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. <laughs> That's the Krogan way! You, you dare. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I like this human. That's she so understands. Good. I withdraw my denial. <laughs> this will be decided elsewhere. I was hoping for exactly that, guys. No kidding. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. That's so good. I was hoping when I saw the the renegade interrupt, I was like, I'm sure it's something like a headbutt or something like and I was hoping and it was dude, that's so good. Or or something like shut the fuck up, like you're nothing, or like some kind of insult would have been would have worked too, but the headbutt is so good. There's also Garrus who did a headbutt. Uh, against Harkin when we did his um, mission, and I was like, "Oh, the Krogan way!" And now, now we're doing it. Like that's too good. That's too good, dude. I love it. All right. What should we bring? Do we need any special that equipment? So good. To I'm so glad. Right, <laughs> only the candidate and his cramped are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Sure. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, I'm so Shepherd. excited. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. Oh, hell no. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, Know that Grunt will be tested, and that you must adapt. Sure, let's go. We're ready. Let's do this. <gasps> Excellent. 
so good, dude. I love that. Oh, we're going. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm taking Garrus. This is too, too fun. This is amazing. Hell yeah, dude. The cane, yeah, sure. I think, I think we're good. You know your, you know our ways, eh? Like... <laughs> so good, you dare. Headbutting a Krogan like that must hurt so bad though. Can you imagine? Like they're so hardened, aren't they? I think we have a bit of an audio delay, so let me just adjust that. But like, oh, that was so good. I love this the renegades the in, in this game. Some scholar, of them are so funny. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Uno, you must adapt. You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Okay. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. In just a second. There's a lot Let's of stuff. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Yeah, but I, I want the stuff, though. Can't I? Here. We can search a corpse. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Just a second! Oh, so many dead people. Amazing. I'm preparing first. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Yep, I'm ready now. All right. So who's where? Yes. Uh, armor or incendiary? I don't know yet. I don't know what kind of enemies we're gonna... Oh. Should I do that first? Let's get started, Shepard. <laughs> Hit the keystone. Shut up!
Okay. That was the first wave. All right. Very nice. to trigger the keystone to continue the right. Now, all Krogan bear the genophage. Our reward, this is crazy. our curse. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. Feel that? Everything is shaking. I am... I can see an armor. What is it? Are you kidding me? Hostiles. Isn't that a, a treasure moss? Uh... Isn't that a treasure moss? You're kidding! No! No fucking way, dude. No, you know what I'm doing? No, 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 no. I ain't doing this, my dude. Oh, no. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Are you kidding me right now? We missed. We totally missed. I am so mad. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding me. That would have been so epic. <laughs> you're kidding me right now. That we missed. Oh my god. I kind of want to restart just to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, it's just survive the attack. But I kind of want to kill it, you know? Oh, that would have been so epic with the... 
with the cane. Holy shit. This is insane, y'all. I cannot believe we're doing this right now. A fucking treasure mod, dude. Are you kidding me? Come on, you're down. Where? One more. Whoa! <laughs> Big game hunter! Easy. We didn't even need the cane. <laughs> that was insane. We have company. Good. I want more. I knew it was gonna be a treasure mark because I recognized the little tentacles thing. Oh my goodness. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Mob. Hell yeah. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the Rex last. was the last? My crant gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. <sighs> this will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure. No alien meddling in your construction. Just the warlord of Kier. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem, but not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. <laughs> a what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship. He wants to but recruit him. Plan and name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either. Uh huh. He's a Clan little Yavitar rat. He's on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance, too. My guess, Grunt says no. If I know Grunt, your answer's coming at muzzle velocity. <laughs> you do know Grunt. This Varen is dead. Well, if that's how it has to be, I'm I'm sorry about that. Oh, is he dead? No, okay, we're fine. Where are the others? Maybe if I hadn't chosen that answer, maybe uh, we wouldn't have had to kill him, but um, I mean, they were kind of causing a lot of problems, right? Battle master. <laughs> if an enemy Krogan gets close to you, they'll charge you don't want that. That's so funny. The right of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Hell yeah. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher maw fell. Hell yeah. Your name shall live in glory. Since Rex. Grunt, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. She has no match. Oh. Understood. 
Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. Amazing. I love their culture. Be wrong so to interesting. My old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tichanka's past. Tichanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. <laughs> Survival is an honor. No and less. Here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. Hmm. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Hmm? Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rights did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. Mm. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. Wow. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Jeez. Your job is awful. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, like... I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. We can use this. Brief a massive boost to your armor fortification. New outfit! Let's go! <gasps> we leveled up! I don't care who you are. The female clans don't see anyone. Ever. You don't have a plate. An exogeny archaeological team has been reported missing. They were last seen in the Aea Cluster's Enoch system, an area of heavy pirate activity. Did I do that? We are the anger in the human killed the trash mall. I need to talk to Grant. Has it been done since Rex himself? Hell yeah. You just can't help making trouble. <laughs> no one has killed a maw since my turn in the right. Next you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. No, you're never replaceable, Rex. Let's be honest here. You are Erdnot Grunt. Welcome. So nice. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Erd not grunt. Awesome. You coming with us, babe? I barely survived the law during my run. Guess that human's not good. <laughs> the child. My son. It was, it was good. I love this. That was amazing. That was so much fun too. I did not expect a treasure mall like Erdnot has increased his strength after the destruction of Clan Warlock. In addition, killing the Thresher Maw has produced several Ah, uh, what? Several breeding what? Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Go to the clan leader. Ernot Grunt, you can go where you want. Ernot Grunt, you can go wherever you want. <gasps> They're here? 
far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want me here? That's so cute! Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I'm that's so cute. That. I have work for you if you want it, or not grunt. Just set the human aside and we can talk. See, it's totally different now. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Wait, is there... Maybe there's other things to buy now? I don't think so, but we never know. I don't know, and I want to hear everybody's thoughts on my... No more pet Krogan. Oh, hey. Like this dude. Place your bed on the pits, human. We won't regret it. Honored to be a part oh, of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got a few minutes. Speak. Probably like welcome to Let clan or not. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. As I understand it, Clan Erdnot has a new member. Yep. So, you're our new warrior. The shaman gave you the customary upgrades, I assume. He's fast to pass off my work as his reward. Use them well. The Lord High Researcher for Clan Erdnot has no time to make replacements. But perhaps I can offer a discount. Are you kidding? I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. Not exactly what I would call effective academic. I don't care what you'd call it. I you don't count success until the ground we shakes. Enjoy your research. We heard about this. Yes, yes, move along. Are you kidding that now we have a discount? I take swear it. this game. I swear. Don't touch anything. There's always a fucking discount after everything. Oh. At first I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. For sure. What do you need? I thought you Talk would have you something later. to say. They now everybody... Not everybody working. respects Grant. That's so nice. What about uh, my dude here? Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with them? Here you kill... Welcome, Erdnot Grunt. My name is Ratch. You and your Krant will find many items of interest in my store. The human is my battle master. Of course. There's not much here for humans, but you can take a look if you want. I think he was about to say, heard you kill the treasure go. mob, but I clicked before. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like I'm missing all the... Yes, I the little uh, yeah, tidbits, just because I'm, I'm going too fast a little bit. Because I don't think that they're going to say anything, but they all do. Nothing to say else than that. Ah, that was awesome! Turn not grunt. You can go where you want. A human killed the Thresher Mob on foot. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> that was awesome. That was an awesome loyalty mission. And I his battle master now. Isn't that cool? <sighs> How may I help you, Commander? 
How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. I want to know about Grunt from Joker's perspective. And then I'm going to research. And then I'm going to talk to Jacob because I have a question about like the loyalty of the group. And now that we have everybody's loyalty. You know, Commander, I'm not real broke up that Rex isn't coming. I'm good with our current amount of headbutting. <laughs> I'd say we're at headbutting capacity. <laughs> What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, Grunt is not a stabilizing element, Commander. He's not that bad. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but That's I think That's it I may... for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> and I need to talk to Grunt as well. Also, I want to change his appearance. Wait a minute. Do we have messages? No. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. He looks cool. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that, guys. We only have one space left. Almost done. Hell yeah. Extra rounds. And shield piercing. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent. And toying with me. <laughs> hmm. Tests. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Jacob. What do you think? Commander, can I help you with something? Opinion of the crew. What do you think of the state of the crew? This crew is as good as it can be. We've got a shot. A long shot, but it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. Anything else? Commander? Hell yeah. Thoughts on the mission. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? It felt good to take that collector ship, but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. May as well be out in the Yeah, he said that before. Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. Hell yeah. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. Alright. I was so disappointed by my gain miss. <laughs> oh lord. Would have been fucking insane. We still got it though. Um, I'm thinking let's talk to Grunt. I'll go talk to everybody actually. Um, and then we'll end it here. But next episode, I think we could do um some N7 missions that we still have, and the Citadel Forge ID, and then we'll go ahead with the um. Reaper IFF. Also, I have points now, right? Three points. I think maybe here. Back for more. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a fresher more on foot before. Standard Same. operating procedure when you get a fresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. Yeah. Krogan doesn't know any better, I guess. I mean, still, hell of a fight. Me neither, I guess. I'm trying to remember, what was his name? Salarian infiltration specialist, hundred story man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. 
He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kind of reminds me of him. I should let you go. I hope it was not Kirei. But I don't think he would go work for uh, Eclipse Mercs. So probably not. Grunty! Ah, oh, you look amazing. Erd not grunt. I like it. You do. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. And Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him. To tear out his spine like a trophy. Save it for the collectors. Can we focus that on our real enemy, or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? <laughs> I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed My because eyes. of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. Shepard. Did Okir give you any imprints You already Kirk? know more than he did. Okir's is barely useful. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Just checking in. How are you doing? Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. He looks so good with this armor. Amazing. <laughs> what about Jack? I want to talk to all my crew. Hey. The mission. What do you think of our mission? I know when someone's got murder on their mind. The Collectors are out to kill us. Rather do it to them first. She looks so good. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I'm curious. I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. What if I really care? I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? I love the close-up. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Boyfriend or girlfriend, eh? <laughs> Tough. But you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. She's by. They sound like selfish pricks. Mm. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill Can you. Can I roll men's I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I've never met anyone like you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. 
Later, Shepard. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come back later. I should go. Okay. Talk later. I've never met anyone quite like you. Mm-mm. <laughs> Shepard, what can I do for you? How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Okay. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. All right. Talk to you later. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. Ah. Ah. They're the worst. Oh, they're so good though. I love it. Um yeah, let's let's go speak to everybody basically because a lot of them have new information. I feel like since I've done a mission um they're willing to talk to me a little bit more. There you are. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm security used to being guy? watched by security, but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Okay, that's not nice. Who Who is that? I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Not that window, though. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better. better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk Poor about. Poor him. Thane. Do you need something? Oops. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. <gasps> the nice. last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Yeah. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. Insane. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Hmm. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass. The warmth of another's hand on yours. The taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Oh, Jesus. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't that a rather <laughs> personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately, I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, no, it's fine. It's just... Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. That is the truest thing I've ever heard, guys, by the way. I've always thought that. Like, thank God we don't remember our own birth, because that shit isn't hands. I've worked in labor and delivery as a nurse. I loved it, but let's be real. Like for the baby, it is fucking traumatizing. Like <laughs> you can relive every assassination. Oh, that's made. true. Yeah. In perfect detail. Gee. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. Every pang of guilt. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? I don't like that sort of a... Uh, of um... Thought process. Um... Yeah, I don't think that thought process is uh... He tells himself that to sleep better at night, but um, 
I don't agree with that at all. I know a lot of people, I don't want to go into like too much here because it's very political and it's super complicated. But a lot of people say that about gun control in our world. And um, I've never agreed with that. That's different. Your body doesn't make the decision to shoot, your mind does. You make the choice to kill. Mm. When someone aims a gun at you, you pull your trigger. You don't think. It's reflex. Any combat training conditions the body's reflexes. My training was very thorough. Drill mines are different from humans. Yeah, for sure. We see our body as a vessel. Clearly. And accept that it is not always under our control. Irresponsible. Weird. Convenient. I don't know if it means like, oh, that's, oh my, that's so convenient, I love that. Or if, or is it like sarcasm, like that's convenient. I'm guessing it's not sarcasm, so I'm gonna go with that's irresponsible. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh, that time. Laser got trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me. But she stared that me became down. her wife. For sure. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid drill memory? Not. No. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. The last time we talked, uh, you remember? Uh, hey. Bystander noticed my I spot. should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You're lonely. Your speech is interesting. You're lonely. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. That's not true. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. Just a friend. It's never too late to change that. A poor me, I hear. It's never too late to change. This crew is pretty diverse. You must have something in common with some of them. Get out of this room and talk to them. Yeah. I shall consider it. I won't keep you. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've. Now it makes sense that he says I that. I'd to like to consider. What we've discussed, like, it makes sense because we just talked about a lot of uh, things that, you know, he needs to think about, which is, which makes sense. Like, thought-provoking stuff, I mean. Huh. So I think I could have romanced him there, like, with just a friend thing, but... Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's... The weapons upgrades have gone... It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Have you got a minute? Definitely. But I want to try it with you. I want a few moments. I want that too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll... Okay, that sounded bad. <laughs> Alright. Nothing new. I'm surprised at how many people it seems like we can romance. Like, Tally and Jack, I'm unsure, kind of. And then Tane, definitely, I think we can. Grunt, I don't think how so. How may I help you, Commander? There's a very good chance this mission will be a I've been way. through the reclaim. We survived the battle of... I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. That's it, then. Alright. My scars are already healed. Like, I don't know. Anyways. So we talked to every... We didn't say, talk to Samara. I'm sorry. Starboard observation, right? Yeah. Samara we could romance, I'm pretty sure. 
Mission progress, maybe? Shepard, how do you think our mission is going? Spirits are high. We have a strong team and everyone is committed. Hell yeah, that's what I like Anything to hear. New? There is something I've wanted to tell you. Oh. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a specter. Who? Why did you fight a specter? A Torian <gasps> named Nihilus. Nihilus? He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Torian. Yeah, I'm surprised. A good specter. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. What? It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. Ah, that was so interesting. I didn't expect that. But I was like, maybe Saren, you know? Been like. Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices, big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. Mm. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. What the hell? When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care and continued my pursuit. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves to be traded to the Collectors for advanced mm. technology. You supported the slave trade? In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged in questionable practices, but never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. Mm. The Collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through. And they did not pursue. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. <laughs> then I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues and released the captives on the Citadel. We're not done with this yet. Wow. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You make it sound final. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. We'll finish this mission and live to see the end. I hope you are right. I'm scared. I'm genuinely so scared though. I haven't talked to Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? 
Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. That's what I thought, time. because I talked I'll to her not too long ago. Of course, Commander. Like, Atlante conversation, so... Okay, I think that's it for today. Oh, maybe I should have went to the cabin. Just to see if there's anything different. I don't think so, but we never know. Since we've done all loyalty, I don't know, maybe... The relic is there? What? That's it? Oh man, it would have been cool that if Liera could have seen it and say something and... Now we have the dog tags too. That's it. No messages for you, Commander. Next episode. These two Citadel Stop the Collectors. Which is crazy. I cannot believe. Wow. Oh, that was so much fun today with uh, with Grunt's mission. That was really fun with the treasure mod. I did not expect that. The conversation also with everybody. Now everybody's loyal at least. Um, so we have, you know, a chance, I guess. Maybe some people will still die. I don't know how much is scripted and how much isn't, you know what I mean? Like, if I would predict who will die and who won't, I would say Samara seems really scared, Jacob, and then Tane, because he wants to die, kind of, like, because he's already dying from a sickness. And then we have maybe others, maybe others, but like, I really don't, I don't want anyone to die, obviously. But if I would have to choose, like, I would choose, you know, someone that I don't care as much, like Zayed, for example, or like Jacob, or, you know, like some, some, some type of newest member that I don't really care like care about you know as much as others but like if Garrus dies though you know that's what scares me like I feel like there is no one really safe and I don't know how much is scripted like in Mass Effect 1 Vermeer was scripted you can't save both so maybe it, it'll be something similar I mean if it's Garrus and someone else, obviously, Garrus is gonna win. But, like, also Tally, I really don't want her to die. I don't want um, Morden to die. I love Morden. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm just... I'm a bit scared about that, but I guess we'll see how it goes. I just hope that Garrus stays in and, and Tally and my, all my crew, basically, like, my old crew and Morden and even Jack and you know Thane I want to keep them but I don't know we'll see what happens I'm just scared I'm scared <sighs> the game really makes you scared like it lays it thick on you of like yeah people might die and it's really scary you know because you get attached to those characters and you don't want them to die like it's not a, i feel like it was not as bad in mass effect one because we we get attached to ashley and kaden but i think we get attached even more in this game 
And so when one dies in Mass Effect 1, it's like, it's sad, but you get over it, like, it's okay. But if one of my teammates now dies, I will lose my mind. Unless it's like Zayed or something, like, not that I hate him or anything, but you know, like, these I don't, I don't mind as much. But like, if Morden dies, or like, Garrus, or, you know what I mean, like, hell nah. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> like that's Yeah, so I'm I'm just I'm I'm a bit scared about that, but I guess we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'll try to make the right choices if I can. I don't even know if it's scripted or not. Um and I can't yeah, it's out of my control. So I don't even know when or how or you know what I mean? Like is it the next mission? Or is it after we re we get the IFF and then we reach to to the Omega 4 relay and then you know like I think maybe it's after that. Um just getting the Reaper IFF will be okay. I hope I don't know. Anyways, I'm asking a lot of questions right now. I don't want them to be answered, obviously I don't want spoilers. Although by the time I've uploaded this, I probably have finished playing the game, but still, just in case, please don't actually answer my my uh, scared questions. I'll see for myself, but yeah, I'm just talking about my mindset right now, if that makes sense. I'm just sharing my mindset and and, and what I think of the game and, you know, what's, what's to come. So yeah, that was super fun really really liked it and i hope you guys enjoyed the episode as well and i'll see you in the next one bye